going on guys? Mike Schemer here doing a quick video because an unplanned video because I'm waiting here at a public location wasting my time uh, selling some old fitness equipment, some old strength and conditioning equipment, some extra stuff that I don't need for myself, for my kids, for a, uh, a personal training side hustle if I ever have to go back to that for some reason which uh, would be crazy but you know I got plenty I got bags of equipment um, that I used to bring to clients homes to train them um, I was a top uh, personal trainer for a long time um, I didn't always make the most money but I was uh, definitely one of the most qualified and most experienced for my uh, 10 to 12 year career as a personal trainer um, in clients homes in uh, gyms studios um, health clubs you name it all around Massachusetts and Rhode Island um, all right anyway so this is an unplanned video I um, <laughs> guess uh, I want to talk about what I've been doing the most of what my biggest focus is and that is besides my successful SEO business which has slowed down a little bit you know I want to be honest with you um, it has for almost every single SEO company uh, besides my live good uh, business uh, which is doing very well and it's on the uptick it's doing better than ever um, and I'm just really getting started on that to be honest um, it's just gonna be a, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a rocket ship to the top starting in a couple weeks after, um, you know, back to school <clears throat> and, um, you know, people's summer vacations and their holidays are over. The back to school rush has settled in. Um, I know that as a parent of two kids, um, you know, it can be pretty crazy. People start realizing, oh boy, I have all these bills I just racked up all these bills or I didn't make that much money over the summer and now I really need to step things up especially for the holidays or I'm in trouble so I mean that's just that's just the way it is I know that from multiple industries I have succeeded in whether it's um, you know business marketing SEO affiliate sales everything so anyways in terms of investing um, I mean, my portfolio is bigger than ever, and I really am just getting started. So, it's finally going to hit critical mass this month, this upcoming month, in September. Um, and then really full speed in October, because a lot of these securities that I bought in the past month or two, a lot of them do pay weekly or monthly, uh, but some of them do pay quarterly, annually, and I haven't enjoyed some of those dividends, of course, you know, in the past month or two because, you know, it takes three months or it takes six to 12 months for uh, some of these uh, U.S. companies or ETFs or ADRs, the foreign stocks, to pay the dividends. So, I mean, it's just snowballing like crazy right now. It is, um, you know, my dividends... Last month in July were 10 times what they were in June. My dividends in August, they haven't even been fully tabulated on, <laughs> on my brokerage. Um, they're five times almost bigger than July's. And September, it's going to be maybe 50-60% higher than August. October is going to be a little higher. I mean... Percentage-wise, it's not going to be quite as large. Um, I apologize for the uh, being a little sniffly. Um, I don't know if it's the allergies or I did a ton of yard work, kicking up tons of dust um, yesterday. One of the perks and curses of working from home, you know. I uh, have to do all the uh, cleaning, laundry, landscaping, uh, yard work, whatever, catching up on months or years of um you know kind of putting some things off um you know there's always more to do especially with uh with two kids so um i've increased my holdings um 
Instead, I went from 30 different ETFs, and look, I over-diversify, if anything. I would rather be incredibly diversified than be metaphorically caught with my pants down. You know, like putting too much, um, you know, in one basket of stocks or ETFs, uh, too much, you know, equity in, uh, in, you know, one single holding, or a dozen or two dozens or whatever so I have tons so instead of 30 ETFs I have closer to 45 maybe 40 some of those are very small some of my ETFs I have anywhere from two or three shares at the very lowest if I'm unsure about a holding if I'm just kind of testing the waters I'm seeing how the nav um, is how stable it can be um, or if it's quite expensive. I mean, you know, some ETFs are more expensive than others. Some of them are 10. Um, some of them are hundreds of dollars, of course. All right, looks like my person's here. But anyways, again, I went from 600 to almost 700 individual stock holdings. Maybe more like 650, but you get the idea. It's big improvements, and I'm just getting started. So buy my portfolio below if you want. And more videos, better videos coming soon. Thanks.